right now, there's a lot of emphasis on finding your perfect match for Valentine's Day. But beyond just connecting with the right person, our next guest says there are some questions you've got to ask yourself first. We've got Dr. Roger Rhodes here, a professional therapist and speaker, uh, here to talk about it. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, glad you're here. Yeah. Um, the first question, we've been talking about this, you say, ask yourself, are you ready for love or are you just bored? Because big difference, right? Without a doubt. I think a lot of people are really, when we're talking about ready for passion, uh -huh. They call that love, and that is a short-term goal. Wait a minute, what am I looking for for the rest of my life? Yeah, a lot it, more goes into that. Ooh, we, and the clearer I am, the better I am at getting it. All right, and then, so, so you've got to ask yourself that, really define where you're going. And then uh -huh. question two, you say, you've got to ask that man or woman in the mirror, are you investing the time and money and energy in a relationship? Are you able to really invest that right now? Without a doubt, I think a lot of people just think, all I have to do is show up and wait for the spark. And let me tell you, most of the time when people are waiting for a spark, it's a dysfunctional spark. And so they find just what they're looking for, and oh, that's not that. Okay, you see, see that too much in your practice. Oh, without a yeah. doubt, without a doubt. See, what I see are the results of that, where people have gotten married, and I ask them, how'd you feel when you got married? Oh, I loved them. What'd you think? Oh, they walked on water. Oh, what now? They're cruddy. I don't like them at all. Yeah. Oh, what happened now? Oh, and what I find out is those people didn't have a plan. Yep. We're just kind of going to wing it. And a lot of times, one of the things that happens is People have moved away from support, from family, from right. friends. We're getting into that because you've got to you've got to lay out that plan. You've got to understand the parameters. And um, the third question you said is, have you emotionally cut ties with the past people oh. that you've been in relationships with? You're you're basically saying you've got to understand that that you're really free and check for baggage. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, past boyfriends, past girlfriends mm -hmm. will kill the future of a new relationship. And some people, oh, they're still hanging on, still got the phone number, still got the email. And when things get rough, what do people do? There you go. So, yeah, really, really bad to still be in a situation where you're still connected yes, to that past yes. relationship. And especially like if your family is still connected to who you're yeah, interested. We'll oh, get that's into that, a, too. So a, you're going to encourage people to ask, do you have the support of your family and friends? You say, that's the other question you ask yourself. Yes. Is, because you're not just in a relationship with one other person. There's a whole support system behind you. Tell me well, about that. They're not only in a relationship with you. I mean, isn't it cool to say, oh, I love you, everything's good, uh, but nobody else is involved. Well, I guarantee you, as long as you're together, and especially if you have children, buddy, everybody's showing up. All right, and then and finally, you say, ask yourself, do I have a clear idea of the person that you'd like to have in your future? Talk to us about how you, how you establish that clear idea. What goes into that? It's real simple. Ask questions. And... Get out of denial. A lot of times people will tell you exactly who they are. People will show you exactly who they are and you're, oh, no, no. And, and one of the great indicators of this is your friends who know you. They will tell you, oh, man, that person is a turkey. Be willing to listen to them instead of feeling like you're a lawyer and you're going to defend. That's a fascinating uh, topic of itself because yeah. these red flags come up, but somebody wants that relationship so badly that, that that's why they ignore those red flags? Without a doubt. And when you're led by passion, you're blind. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just cannot see. But boy, when you make that commitment, you got plenty of time to see. All right, that's it. And all it. of a sudden, they wake, you wake up and go, what was I thinking? And the truth is, you weren't thinking. So overall, you just caution people. Your general message here is, we think we're supposed to uh, nail down yeah. that, that lifelong relationship right away, but, but it can't happen until, until what? Till there's a click. You know, that's Don't what make people, it fit if it doesn't. Oh, no. And people will tell you, oh, I, I, they can tell you, even on a piece of paper, why did you marry this person? And they can line up this, 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 and this. Well, I'll tell you, this, 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 and this is what keeps you together down the long run. Yeah, I, I, I like it very much. I think there's a lot of topics here. Um, you are a licensed professional counselor in South Carolina doing therapy and private practice now. Um, right. People can contact you at the number on screen or they can email you. Um, your contact information will be on accesscarolina.com. Uh, right. Any other final wishes for Valentine's Day as we head out? Yeah. People think with their head instead of other parts of their body, we're going to have success for this Valentine's. Use some common sense and uh, be careful out Ooh there. Wee. Dr. Roger Rhodes, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you.